bison and their calves enjoying the great outdoors at Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. I'm Mo Rocca. Face the Nation is just ahead. And please join Jane Pauley when our trumpet sounds again next Sunday morning. I'm Margaret Brennan in Washington, and this week on Face the Nation, extreme heat continues to smash records around the world, and tactics being taken by Texas officials at the border to deter migrants come under scrutiny. As July slogs on, so do the miserable temperatures and brutal severe weather episodes that are dominating the summer of 2023. The idea that there's not global warming, I think, can't be denied by anybody anymore. There's no denying it's hot or that the high temperatures are raising concerns about the future of the planet. But what can be done at this point? We'll talk to Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego. Her city is one of the hottest spots in the country. Then the Justice Department orders the removal of floating barriers in the Rio Grande after reports of injuries to migrants trying to enter the U.S. One of the goals is to slow down and, and deter as many of them as possible. We'll ask Texas Republican Congressman Tony Gonzalez about some of the measures being used and his new immigration proposal. Plus, the culture wars on the campaign trail intensify as Vice President Kamala Harris blasts new Florida guidelines for teaching black history in schools that suggest some slaves developed useful skills in bondage. They insult us in an attempt to gaslight us, and we will not have it. And we will not have it. Florida governor and GOP presidential hopeful Ron DeSantis says he wasn't involved, but... I think that they're probably going to show um, some of the folks that eventually parlayed, uh, you know, being a blacksmith into, into doing things later, later in life. We'll talk to former New Jersey governor and Republican candidate Chris Christie about that and a possible third indictment facing President Trump. Finally, the facts surrounding gender-affirming care with the head of the organization that sets the guidelines for treatment, Dr. Marcy Bowers. It's all just ahead on Face the Nation. Good morning and welcome to Face the Nation. The excruciating heat and severe weather continues here in Washington, and more than 75 million Americans are under a hot weather watch today. Here's our Mark Strassman. Phoenix wilting in the valley of the sunstroke. Dehydration, dizziness, delirium. No surprise given today's forecast. A record 24th straight day with temperatures hitting 110 degrees or more. I've been sweating um, all over my body. People wither in weather this hot. And July's poised to become Earth's hottest month in at least the last 6,500 years. Ask Palm Springs, California and our Carter Evans. No kids on the playground today, and you can understand why the temperature here on the slide is 171 degrees. Today's forecast will be a continuing meditation on climate change, with more dangerous highs expected today. Phoenix, 113. Las Vegas, 113. Tucson, 109. In the U.S., more than 3,500 temperature records have been set this month alone. Keeping cool can be a matter of life and death. America's leading weather-related killer, not hurricanes, not tornadoes, excessive heat. A heat wave that drives dozens of people or more to an emergency department um, is a mass casualty event. Officially, extreme heat kills roughly 700 people a year. 
but experts like Dr. Chris Tedeschi, a Columbia University emergency